Hi everyone. So today is the day after Christmas and we're going to do a what I got for Christmas video. So my first what I got for Christmas video and I grew up watching these and they were like my favorite videos to watch after Vlogmas and I don't know why I liked watching what, I, what other people got but um I don't know but just a disclaimer I'm not trying to brag in any way shape or form I'm extremely grateful for everything I got this year and thank you to everyone who thought of me and got me a gift or something or saw me spend quality time with me thank you um but i just wanted to show you guys what i got for christmas this year so let's get started okay guys editing me here uh i don't know why i'm acting so awkward in this video but i think it's because zach was upstairs and i was nervous that he could hear me and or because i had never actually filmed a sit down video like this before so it was kind of uncomfy for me but um, I promise I was happy and excited about everything that I got for Christmas, and I just was very tired making this video. But, yeah, um, I hope you guys still like it, and sorry for the awkwardness. Start with what I got in my stocking. So, I put it all in a bag so it's not actually in my stocking anymore. Um, so it's not in order of what I got either. But he got me this, um, I think it's a, a faux fur scarf. But it's like um, an infinity scarf, and it's really, really soft and warm. I wore it today when we went to took to took to take Zoe to um, the dog park here and have her play in the snow, which you guys will see in another vlog um, because I recorded that, and it was super fun and cute to see her running around like that in the snow. But yeah, this is super um, soft, and I love it. So yeah, that's the first thing from my stocking. And then these weren't like this, but I put them all in here so it would be easier. He got me 12 of the chapsticks that I use. Um, so I have <laughs> 12 of them in here. So hopefully I'll be good for the rest of next year. Um, then we got these um, giant matches in a glass jar because um, we went to the store and saw these once and he remembered and then he got them and put them in my stocking. So that was really cute and thoughtful. Um, but since there's not that many in here, I'm gonna use them only for special occasions to light certain candles, etc. So yeah. And then he got me the Righteous um, Butter Body Lotion from um, Soap and Glory because I really like a lot of their lotions and they, this one smells really, really good. But he told me he got me this so he, so I can stop using his lotion, even though his lotion is just like more moisturizing than like women's lotion because like women's lotion is always just about the scent. But yeah, moving on. He got me this um, twine with the... Uh, what are they called the window clinger things and um some clippies and when i saw the window clingers it made me want to put it in my car but now i'm thinking of putting it on our balcony door the sliding one um because in the winter we don't really use it obviously um but yeah i think i want to put it on there that would be really cute with some pictures on it and then i got a bunch of candy my favorite candy obviously and I think there's one more. Let me find it. Yes, right here. I got three um, fragrance car refills. One in Cactus Blossom. Strawberry Pound Cake. Because this one I got a lotion in. And I hadn't had the scent before. And we both love the smell. And then I got a flannel um, one. Which that's another one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body. And then I got a um, warming massage oil. <laughs> um, and then I got two bras because I picked them out and I needed them. So, yeah, that's what was in my stocking from Zach. Now, let's get into the gifts. But yeah, I loved everything in my stocking. It's super cute. I'm going to start with what's right here because it looks like it's sliding. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's start with what I'm wearing. 
I just got it in the mail today, actually. It showed up the day after Christmas. Um, it's um, Cody Co. and Noelle Miller. It's the Tiny Me King um, merch. And the back says um, Broke Bitch. But it, I <laughs> turned around to like take a thumbnail. And it's like really hard to see, at least from the angle I'm at. And because it's hasn't been washed or anything yet, so it's still a little like big and not snug on me yet. So maybe I'll insert a picture of it here. If you're lucky but yeah that's the first thing since i'm wearing it might as well show you but then i'm really into composting as i've talked about before so he got me a composting bin and inside i put a few more things but he also got me some compostable waste bags if you can see but the um box itself came with i think two or three but then also got me a pack of them and then inside I just kept um, my baby Yoda pins that I opened on the Christmas, on Christmas Eve. And then um, I got the crystal window markers finally, which I'm so excited for us to use on the balcony. And we have these, I think there's five little windows next to our front door that like, there really is no privacy and you'd have to put up a weird shaped curtain if you wanted to, to hide like the window so I want to do that because I think it would be really cool and then he got me um this airpod case then he got me a new phone case which actually is an otter box and it has a built-in pop socket and it's actually interchangeable so I can pop it off and change it to a different pop socket that I already have because I have um a few different like um what's it called reusable ones or like um swappable ones because when they started making those i thought that was really cool so yeah i got those and i really love those all of that honestly i love everything i got and then he got me some of my um tombow dual brush pens he got me the cottage kit which also um came with a bonus marker which actually is a color. And then he got me the Celebration Pack, which um, I love these markers so much. They're my favorite to color with. And also the Zebra brand um, markers. These ones and those are my two favorite like markers in the entire world. And then to go with my pens, since we're on the topic of coloring, he got me um, a word, wor word, World of Flowers um coloring book it's a coloring and adventure book <clears throat> and one of my favorite things about this coloring book is i don't know if this is common in a lot of them but it has a color palette test page and i love that so you can test the colors and see if they look good next to each other before you color and then he got me three books he got me empty bottles full of stories um by robert m drake and rh sin which i have um three other books by rh sin i really love his books and my little sister actually got one of his books for christmas this year the only one that i don't have of his well besides this one um like to finish his collection and then he got me flux by orion which i've never read before so i'm really excited to read this and then he got me homebody which I've read um, Milk and Honey, obviously, and The Sun and Her Flowers, so I'm really excited to read this one. So I'm really excited for all the reading I have to do, three so far. But yeah, it makes me really excited. Now we'll move on to... Oh. I don't drop it. My new Minitokas. My old ones, these are literally the same ones I already have. Just new. Because I got them, I think, right around the time I met him last year. And they're just so worn out now. So I got a new pair and I'm actually going to waterproof them this time. So they can hopefully stay better longer. But yeah, I'm really excited about those. And I'm not going to wear them in the rain this time. No rain in Minitokas. 
Oh, and my mom got a pair for Christmas from my little brother, but hers are like gray and then have like um a checkered pattern on the toe. It's actually really, really cute. And then <clears throat> Zach got me this um the digital <laughs> I forgot what it was called. Oh yeah, I'm using my ring light if you can't tell. Um, because this horrible lighting down here. Um, but he got me this digital um picture frame from Polaroid. So um instead of having a bunch of different picture frames around here we could just have one big one that like flips through all of our pictures so i'm really excited to use this and put it on i think i want to put it on our half wall or maybe i could put it in front of the tv or i could put it on our bookshelf back here because we don't have i mean obviously we have a lot of books and i put our games on here too but i think um i say um a lot a digital picture frame would look really cute up there so I think I'm gonna put it up there. I will update you guys when I set it up. Then I got this really cute thing. I'm really excited to build this. Uh, it's like another thing that I have from, it was just made out of paper though. I think this is like wood and paper, I think. Wood, metal, fabric, and paper. But yeah, it's a um, DIY miniature house and it's a little greenhouse. And I'm really, really, really excited to build this. But it, it actually, the lights that are in it, this is what it looks like. I found it on Amazon. If anyone's interested, just leave me a comment. I will comment you the link. Because I've had this on my wish list for like probably almost a year now. Because when I saw it, I was like, that exists. I need that in my life. It's literally the cutest thing ever. And maybe I can make a video out of it. If you'd be interested in seeing me build that. Now... I will show you ooh, my candles. I will show you what's behind me in a second. But I got a sun washed citrus candle. Too bad you can't smell it through the camera. So there's no point in me smelling them, but there is because they smell so good. So sorry that I'm gonna do that. This video is already 12 minutes long. And then this one is his favorite that um, he got me. It's just, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's the White Tea in Sage by White Barn from Bath and Body Works. It just, I don't know how to, oh, I guess I could just read the bottom. Sparkling Bergamot White Tea Fresh Sage with Essential Oils. I guess the name is self-explanatory there then. And then a cactus blossom. I love this scent too. And this is one of the car fragrance refills I also got. Mm. Okay. Now, moving on to what you can see right here. Clearly, some K-cups. But I don't have a Keurig. Until now, I have this mini, like, one cup one. And it has this um, design, oh, sorry, the glare. It's got this design on it. And it, I don't think it came with the mug. Maybe it did. But it was a limited edition Jonathan Adler collection with Keurig. He's a potter and designer. But yeah, looks really cute in a white kitchen. I like that, I like that a lot. Um, and I can't wait to set it up and use it in my, um, with all my coffee cups and try, um, after I use these, um, cups, I'm gonna buy the reusable ones so I can just put my own coffee and, um, things in there so it, it's more sustainable and environmentally friendly. I literally am just staring at myself in the camera instead of looking at the actual camera. But then... You guys have already seen this, but in addition to my mini microphone, he got me this big microphone, which is Bluetooth and I can play music on it. It lights up and it has an echo and just a regular microphone. And it's really awesome and I'm so excited to use this with friends on car rides. Just amazing, amazing work. I love her work amazing gift and then the last thing that he got me is it's gonna be probably hard to take out this bag because i want to keep it in there but it's this mauve i'll just keep it in the bag so i don't have to put it back in again this mauve um 
really fuzzy blanket from Target that's um, <laughs> literally matches perfectly with the bedding that we have that I'm gonna put on next, that I normally put on like after Christmas. I will go through what my dad got me, my dad and Ricky. First off, I opened this first, I believe. I got this cupcake holder tray. It's, but it's not just a cupcake holder tray. So the cupcakes can go there, or I can take the cupcake thing out and I can just put a whole sheet cake in here. Or whatever else, I could put deviled eggs, anything I need to. I just thought this, oh, and then another thing I literally just saw, there's a serving spatula right here on top. I literally didn't even notice that. So if you do have a cake, you can cut it with that and serve with that. Now that is a game changer. I need to make a cake and take it somewhere now. Someone throw a party for me. Well, not for me, just like throw a party for me to make a cake to bring to, okay? <laughs> and then I got this really beautiful white and black, like checkered rug and I'm gonna put it in the kitchen and I'll show you guys when I lay it down because I'm really really excited and I can finally get rid of the white one that I have in the kitchen that I got from Urban Outfitters when I moved into my first apartment last year because it is just so dirty from all the feet walking on it and the dog sitting on it and walking on it so yeah and this is actually a bit longer too so it'll take up more space so I'm really 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 excited to put this out so I've been like dying to film this video so I can lay it down because I didn't want it to get dirty before I showed you guys. And then, um, I don't remember if I put all of the right stuff like together in the box. So things might be like mixed up, but I hope I tried my best and I hope I did. But then I got these um, dishwashing gloves. My dad said that I need to, um, I think he said I just needed to up my like, uh, dishwashing gloves for a vlogmas even though I had just bought those gloves like I think less than a month ago but I guess they can just be used for household cleaning and these ones could be used for dishwashing because they have these little rubber bristles on them which are really cool or maybe I could use these ones for cleaning who knows we'll see what happens but those are really cool love that and then this is actually Zosie's gift I should have showed you this first but it's just so cute. I can't have her give it. I can't give it to her yet. Because I know she'll destroy it in a heartbeat. But it's a little sloth with a wreath on it. And um, I'm almost positive she said that she, when she saw this, she thought of me too. <clears throat> because she said that about a few of the things um, that I opened. And I think that um, thoughtful gifts are the best gifts, in my opinion, because... If someone says they thought of you and they saw that and they thought of you and they got it for you like that just means more but anyways this is what zoe got from my dad and her and it's just really really cute it has this little thing here i kind of just like want to hang it on the wall next christmas and then when she learns how to be nice to toys and not tear them into pieces maybe she can have this one and it also squeaks but it's really really cute and then I got another Santa squishy, but it's the other one that I don't have. It's the one with the glasses on. It's actually a retail tag. This is Nick, and my other one is Santa. So this is Saint Nick, and the other one's Santa. So I'll show you him on my bed, since I'm gonna be putting all the Christmas stuff away tomorrow. Sad day. But it's okay. And then, I got um, a Bath and Body Works gift card. I also got a DoorDash gift card, which I used today. <laughs> Me and Zach used today, actually. And then I got these sloth slippers, which are so cute. And they have the, uh, slipper, like, um, grippies on the bottom, so you don't slide around. And they're so fuzzy and soft inside. Love those. So cute. Love them. And then I got two candles, a champagne toast which is another one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. And Endless Weekend. It's so summery and, oh, there's little dolphins on there I didn't even notice. It's so summery and just fresh smelling. And then 
I believe this also was in my thing and it was the frosted cranberry soap. If I'm wrong, this was just still a gift. I just don't remember who it's from, but still grateful and appreciative of it. But I believe it's from my dad and Ricky. But then this one is my one of my favorites because it's so cute. It's a, my own little like, I'm gonna call it my little tree farm. Yeah, it's got this little, oh, you can't even see, this little snowman in there with a little welcome or Merry Christmas sign. And he's actually removable. Oh, <laughs> he's removable. I could even put a picture of like Zoe on there or something. Um, but yeah, it's just really cute. And I think it would just be so cute um, as an addition to Christmas decor in here. So I love that. And then I got a Target gift card from My Secret Santa, which was my brother, Charlie. Oops. But now I'll move on with, to what my grandma and grandpa got me. First is this. I don't know how to pronounce the name, so I'm not going to try to murder it. But it's this bag. And I thought it was the mini one, but then... My brother's girlfriend told me that it's not the mini one and that the mini one's like really small, but Amazon said it was the mini one, but I guess not. But I still love it. It's really cute and I love the color and the size and everything. And then, I need to get better at just talking. In here is a little ornament. My grandma does this every year. Last year was, um, because I moved into my first apartment, it was a, a door and it said Kylie um, 2019, my first apartment. But this year, since we live together now, it says Zach, Kylie, and Zoe 2020. And the Zoe one is my favorite because it's got the little paw print by her name. It's so cute. It's literally the cutest thing ever. But I had this on the tree, but I took it out uh, off so I could show you guys because it is so cute but then I got if I can open this because I put everything in here to make it easier on myself I got a new hydro flask a pink one so pink and orange or pink and orange pink and green um I thought that this was a, like a more peachy color, which kind of on camera, it does look more peach, but it's definitely a very vibrant pink, but I still love it. It's, I will never lose this water bottle, <laughs> but I also need to get another bottle boot so it's not um, loud when it hits the ground. And then I got some rubber mouth um, tipped um, lids for my hydro flask because I got to I got to on Amazon a few months ago for myself and I really really like them so I needed to get some more so I got two more and then I got um, I don't want to unwrap this right now because I have one open already and I know exactly what it is and it smells really strong for some reason even though it's not open but it's um pretty much like a nail hardener and a conditioner for um it's like nail polish hardener that's pretty much what it is that's all explained it if you want to know more i'll do a video on it if you want just let me know <clears throat> but then i'll show you the books i got we'll do smallest to biggest i got this mad woman by cat savage i believe i just found this scrolling on amazon looking through poetry books and I really am excited to read this also. So I think that makes it book number four in our collection to read this next year, this upcoming year. And then I got <clears throat> Violet Fet Backwards, Over the Grass. And I'm really excited to read this Lana Del Rey's book. <sighs> so many good books to read. And then I also got Film for Her. Okay, it's a lock in a key um, double chain necklace, but like it's like one necklace, but it looks like two. 
It's like the layered look. And then another one. A heart in a thicker chain. And another lock at the bottom. That's what I got for my grandma and grandpa and my dad and Ricky. Thank you guys so much. Even though we did Zoom with my grandma and grandpa. Um, so they already like watched me open everything. But now let's get into what my mom got me. So first she got me a loofah that I actually already used today. But with the loofah there was um, a perfume and a lotion. So warm vanilla sugar um, lotion and body wash. Or not body wash. Lotion and um, perfume. And then she got me two of these, but I'll just show you the one. And one of them's for Zach. But these two little white um, tumblers that say drink wine, pet dog, repeat. And they're just really, really cute. So I can't wait to use those with him. And then, since I collect Starbucks cups. Actually, let me show you one thing first so I can like... Oh, actually, let me show you two three things first so i can like go on a little tangent but she got me some undies show you quick some snowflakes and she put them all in this cute little box some of these some tie-dye and they're all like different styles too which i like and then some cherries and then just a plain gray pair. And then that's it for undies. She got me this really, really cute coach wristlet, which I love. And this, I think this is a print that she also really, really loves. So I like that she got me this. Yeah. I need um, to go to, because I live for it by a coach outlet, I need to get a little um credit card holder also but then she got me this it's just a box i'm just kidding which looks like this and it's a music box and you open it and it's got a cute little love letter to me and the music in there and it plays You Are My Sunshine. I love it. Since I collect my Starbucks cups, she ordered me this from Etsy. And it says, you're my person, and it's a beautiful day to save lives. And then it says Grey's Anatomy, and it has, oh, I wasn't even showing it. And then it has the Seattle, um, what is it called? Cityscape or something? And then it has um, Grey's Anatomy written down here, and then all of the um, characters' names. And yeah, I mean, that's what I love it so much. But since we are on the topic of Grey's Anatomy, this is one of the other things she got me. Was this Grey Salon crew neck which I'm absolutely in love with. I wore it yesterday. And I was gonna wear it for this video, but I put on this one because I got it today and I was really excited to get it. So yeah, and then Zach's dad and his wife got me this sweater that matches extremely perfectly with the um, Grey's Anatomy hoodie, or hoodie, it's a crew neck. Um, but it looks like this and it goes it's like um it's like a shawl type one so it like has it goes right here it droops or drapes I meant to say and like covers my back and it's really really soft and I love it I love it I love the colors it's so soft it's so me matches perfectly with what I was wearing yesterday when I was gifted it 
And yeah, I will show you what I got at my Grandma Ellen's Christmas party. I got this little ornament and this little cow, super duper cute. And then I got this little reindeer because it matches with the um, theme that uh, we've had since last year. So I love that. And then my favorite one was this little fuzzy alpaca because it's so fuzzy. It's just so cute. Yes. And then um, I got a winter candy apple um, lotion. I got a Christmas um, oven mitt that has um, butter cookie mix on the inside of it. And um, I got a bunch of lottery tickets. I believe I won $3 on a ticket. And then I won some other money on another one, another, some other ones that from my dad. And um, Zach got me some in my stocking also. So yeah, that completes everything I got for Christmas this year. It's actually not the end of my what I got for Christmas video because I got a gift the day after I filmed this video from Zach's brother and his girlfriend Abby. And I'm sorry I'm whispering, but it's 5 a.m. because I work at 6 and Zach's still sleeping and I don't want to bother him. But I also want to get this video up today, so it's the only time I really have to film it. So she got me these um, the sloth shaped salt and pepper shakers. They're so, so, so cute. And then she got me a sloth um, like face mask. And then she got me this um, oatmeal goat milk um, body wash that's actually locally made here in Ohio um, where they live. And it smells so good. But my last present that I actually forgot to show you guys was something from Zach. And it was sitting on the couch the whole time I was filming my video, but I just forgot about it. You know, it's kind of, it was kind of, it's kind of big. So it was like, well, it was kind of like, <clears throat> I don't know what I'm trying to say. So let me just show you. love it so much it's literally my favorite Christmas present of this year but yeah that's that completes my what I got for Christmas in 2020 video and I hope you guys liked it and I hope that we can make another one next year and I can't wait to see what this year brings for us and yeah so I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video and watching me this month. Um, it really means a lot to me and I can't wait to see what the year brings us. So, happy new year everyone. I'll see you in 2021.